No way. It looks like we've got some threes and some ones. Ooh, this might be a good find. Oh wait, hold up, there's dunks. Okay, how much are these guys going for? That's actually way better than I thought it was gonna be. Isn't that a five? Yeah. See, the five spot is over there. One. Okay, so we have a sneaker collection fund of $363 and a hope to find a pair of sneakers that we can add to the sneaker clock. Now at the end of today's video, I've got a surprise for you guys and I'm sure a lot of you guys know exactly what it is. We're building on the clock. Oh, and of course, before I forget, as a thank you for hitting a million subscribers, I'm giving away a brand new PlayStation 5 and a pair of Amamon Yer 4s. And if you guys haven't entered this giveaway yet, super easy to do. You can do so by just clicking the link in the description below and following the steps. But with all that being said, let's dive right into this week's episode. It sucks. You know, off-whites in there too. Shoot. Nothing that new for the collection, I don't think. That's a bummer though. Dang. So late he's in there? That's crazy, they look brand new. That's wild. Some Jordan ones too. That's crazy. Guess we'll come back later in the week. That sucks. We got some Nikes. I don't know what these are. Adidas. Some clear Adidas actually. That's kind of cool. So these guys are here at Lay's. Hyper Aggressor. Never actually heard of these. Let me know in the comments if you guys know what these are. Ooh, got some purple loafers right there. Very clean. Ooh. Got some J's. Look at that. Very clean. For how much? 65 bucks. Not bad. With the cardboard. Size 13. Let me check the price on these guys because that's actually crazy. Okay, so these 17s are kind of a risk because I'm not seeing anything going for anything crazy. I see them go for like between 65, which is how much these are going for, to like 120. So I think I'm gonna leave these just because I don't want to spend 65 and then lose 65. But it's still cool to find. Got some Nike React 270s. Or ENGs, I think. Not really moving for anything though. Ooh, we got some Pharrells. Look at that. I remember when these dropped, so I was eight and a half for 60. And they look brand new, actually. Let me check the price on these guys. They're cool, but probably not worth it. Kyrie's. Got some LeBron's. Not bad. But not too much today, unfortunately. Got some cool stuff up there. We got some off-whites. Got some Yeezys for 120. But not loving the price. Hold up. It looks like we've got some threes and some ones. What? How much are these threes? 125. That's actually not bad. Ooh, should I cop? 125, I think I still have 20% off. Oh, they're pretty worn though. Oh man, these are crazy though. That would be sick. How much are these guys? Not sure. They are 125 as well. Let me check the price on the threes and then the ones. And decide which ones I should grab, if I should grab any. Ooh, that's tough, because they go for about 100. But with my 20% off discount, I would get it for about 100. So, I don't know. Still a great looking shoe, but I just don't know if it's worth it. Got some more ones. These guys are kind of worn down. Oh, some foams. These guys are going for 150, that's a lot. No, I'm good on these. How much are these ones? 110, that's not bad. That's probably exactly what they go for, especially when they're this worn down. Got some Air Force Ones for 100, really good condition, and then some tens for 100. So with the 20% off, these would be 80. I think that's about what I would sell these for realistically, but let me check on eBay. So they go for like 30 to 50 at most. So as clean as these are, probably not worth it. Space Jams? Ooh. Yeah, no, these are these are not legit. I was excited for a second, but I'm good on these. Actually, how much are these going for? Let's see, 150. No, definitely good on those. Ooh, got some Spizikes. Nice. 125. Oof, that's probably what they go for on eBay. Let me check. All right, so it turns out they go for a lot less than 125. They go for like 70. So I'm good on those, but still cool to find. We got some one lows here in pretty good condition. 30 bucks. That might actually be worth it. But six and a half wide is a really small size. I'll check on those in a second. But I also saw these guys. Some mids for 40. Okay, so these are called the Barcelona Chilies, and I think they go for like between 70 to 100. I don't know, I can't find like an exact price on these guys, but I think I'm gonna grab them because they're 40 bucks, and then I'll get 20% off. So that actually might be worth it. So definitely grabbing these guys. Got some Air Maxes in actually really great condition. Let me check. Oh, wait, hold up. We got Air Jordan 13s too. Man, there's so much today. There's no price. 75 for a size nine. That's actually a great size. They're in pretty good condition. 75, that's not bad. I might grab them. In fact, let's just go for it. Let's grab them. Let me check this out. We got some Vapor Max Pluses in this nice maroon color. Ooh, this might be a good find. Oh, wait, hold up. There's dunks. <laughs> there's dunks right here. No way. 75. Ooh. Gotta check the price on these guys. I don't even know what colorway this is. So these are the Nike Dunk High wood grains from 2006. And 
<laughs> these are a definite cop. I'm absolutely grabbing these guys. No question. And then the final shoe are these fives right here too. Women's fives, it looks like. Let's see, how much? 30. I guess I'll check just to make sure, but I'm not expecting much. Yeah, probably not worth it, but still a cool find. Dude, Plato's Closet was crazy today. And as you guys saw from last week's episode, I had 20% off because I spun that wheel and got like 60 points. And I think it's 40 points for 20% off or something like that. So I got all this stuff for 20% off. And not only that, we found a pair of dunks that I just, from 2006, I can't even believe it. And they're in amazing condition, but we'll talk about those in a second. I'm really happy with these pickups. And I feel like this is the best it's been after Black Friday in a long time. It's actually been exactly a week. Today is Friday since Black Friday, and uh, I didn't expect them to have anything. And the fact that we're still clearing stuff out is, is crazy to me. So really, really happy with that. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I feel like it's just been a great day. Okay, so we're at a new Play-Dohs. First things first, we got some LeBrons. Got some more LeBrons, LeBron 13s, a big size for 40. Some Air Max 270 Reacts, super big size. And some Jordans, here we go. These are Jordan 32s, I think, because they're based off the Air Jordan 2. 35, size 13, that's pretty big. We got some Nike Presto Reacts, pennies. Look at this, how much for? 25, but they are kind of beat. Oh, no way, we got some Jordans. 50 bucks, ooh. If these were like 35, that'd be worth it. They're in pretty decent condition, but for 50 bucks, I just don't know if it's worth it. Got some of these guys, I forget what they're called, but Hyperdunk Alphas or Hyperdunk, I don't remember, but super ugly. Don't love them. We got the J. Coles, J. Cole Pumas. Brand new, actually. That's 14, 87 amp pearls. I remember when these first dropped. That's crazy to see these again. I haven't seen these since like what, 2016, 25 bucks. I don't think they go for much. I should double check because it's also a women's size or a kid's size, but I love this shoe. I have the KD6s in this uh, colorway or this, I guess, style. And I love it, it's one of my favorite shoes. That wing is just fire. I love that wing. No way. Some Air Jordan 5 Oreos, 80 bucks. Size seven and a half. I'll think about those. We got one more Jordan find. These Jordan 10s, the Charlotte Jordan 10s for 50 bucks. I might actually grab these. What size are these? Size 11 and a half. We'll see. Let me check them out. Unfortunately, not worth it for this price, but still cool to see. Good condition, too. Okay, so we tried a new Play Doh's closet like in Northeast Philadelphia, which is not usually where I go to Play Doh's. And there was a lot of good stuff. It was just all priced exactly for what it was going for on eBay, which is unfortunate. Like all those Jordans were fire and they were in great condition, but unfortunately, they were priced for exactly what they go for online. But in case you guys are interested, on foot today, I've got the Pata Nike Air Max Ones in the orange colorway. By far my favorite of all the Pata Nike. Air Maxes, and of course, with these shoes, I've got the matching, might I add, Roscoe Chicken and W's Apothecary Sock Collaboration. This sock collaboration is absolutely fire. We've wanted to work with Roscoe for a long time, and finally, we're dropping the collab. It comes in three different colorways, green, orange, and blue, and they all drop officially on Friday the 9th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. If you guys wanna check them out, I'll make sure to leave a link to apothecary.com in the description below. Once again, they drop on the 9th, and you guys can sign up for our email list on apothecary.com to be notified as soon as they come out. And we're back, and the pickups from Play Plato's closet this week were absolutely insane. And it's crazy because it's been like a week since Black Friday. Maybe not exactly a week, but almost a week. And the fact that there's still sneakers to be had at Plato's closet, I'm sure that people have been donating sneakers since then, but the fact that there's still some sneakers there from Black Friday is crazy. I mean, the first pair that we grabbed, this pair of Air Jordan 13 Lucky Greens, we actually saw some dude carrying somewhere in last week's episode, and uh, I can't believe that they were still here. I thought that the guy bought them, but apparently not. And now we have a pretty decent condition pair of Air Jordan 13 Lucky Greens in a size nine that we picked up for 60 bucks, which is not bad. I feel like I can sell this shoe for, like I said, maybe a hundred bucks, hopefully. It's honestly in pretty good condition. I mean, the upper of the shoe is a little bit dirty, but nothing I can't clean. Also, it doesn't have a box, which is kind of a bummer, but with most things, when it comes to Play-Doh's Closet or thrift stores, you're very lucky to find a box, so not a huge deal. But I mean, even the Jumpman on the insole of the sneaker, while not completely intact, is still sort of there, which is pretty impressive and means that this shoe probably wasn't worn that much. So definitely happy with this pickup. And I think the left shoe, I don't know where it's at, but is in similar condition. I think there might be like a scuff on the suede or something on the left shoe, but that's about it. I might even be able to work that out, but we'll have to wait and see. Next, we had a pair of Air Jordan 1 mids that I didn't even know existed until I looked them up, and this is the Air Jordan 1 Barcelona mids. Now, the colorway of this shoe is definitely loud, and it probably won't be the fastest seller in the world, but I grabbed it for, I believe, I think $32, because it was $40 before, got the 20% off, so yeah, 32 bucks, not a bad pickup. I think I could sell this for like 80 bucks, hopefully. In really good condition, the outsole was semi-translucent, but still, like, there's still some blue in there, which is kinda nice. There's barely any heel drag. In fact, barely any star loss. There's a little bit of creasing on the toe. Ironically, not on the patent leather part, but on the standard leather part. But I mean, all in all, pretty good condition shoe, size eight men's. 
So definitely a good size as well. Hopefully it moves. I have no idea, but for 32 bucks, I'm not gonna turn it down. And then finally we had the shoe that literally blew my mind when I saw it. I was like, that's not a dunk I'm familiar with. And then I looked it up and I found out that it's a dunk from 2006. This is the wood grain Nike Dunk Highs and it's in, I mean, excellent condition for a shoe that's almost 20 years old. I mean, at first glance, it just looks like an all brown pair of Nike Dunk Highs, but when you look closer, when you look at these patent leather areas, you'll notice that there is actually like a sort of marbled wood grain pattern in there. Like a, like if you look at, um, I'm trying to think of what's similar to this. It's almost like a pair of like tortoise shell Ray-Bans or something like that. It's that same sort of brown pattern. And uh, honestly, it's a really nice looking shoe. It's a size nine and a half and a sneaker that I would consider keeping for myself because of how cool this is and the fact that I got it for, I think, 60 bucks after the 20% off, which is crazy. Now again, no box, but the condition of this shoe is, I mean, impeccable. Like, that's ridiculous. And because it's got a rubber midsole and not like a foam midsole, it should last, even though it's 20 years old. You should be able to wear this, which is awesome. So I have no idea what this is gonna go for. I think I listed it for like 150, hoping to get around there. I did see pairs go for anywhere between $100 for like a beat up size seven, all the way up to like $300 for a pair that was, you know, used but still out of box so I have no idea what to expect I think 150 is reasonable and uh, you know honestly if it doesn't sell I'm just gonna keep it <laughs> You just never find dunks at Plato's Closet or at thrift stores. Like, it just doesn't happen. And when it does, it's usually an obscure pair that's maybe from like five years ago. But you never find pairs that are like 20 years old that the condition of the shoe is this good. But yeah, a lot of good pickups today. Unfortunately, only from that one spot. So I could have gone just there the entire week and we would have been good. But, um, you know, you have to stop at all the spots. Like, we found other decent sneakers at other spots, but nothing that was worth flipping. Which is kind of just par for the course when you do stuff like this. When you go thrifting and try and resell or just thrifting for fun. You find a lot of cool stuff, but a lot of it just isn't worth picking up. But at this point, I feel like it's time to, uh, to build a clock, which I've been promising you guys for a really long time. Oh, and actually, before I forget to fill you guys in on where the sneaker collection fund is at the end of the week, obviously we ended off last week with no sneakers to sell because we'd sold everything. That means that all we did this week was spend money, so we have a new sneaker collection fund of $211, which honestly is still not bad. And while yes, I probably could grab a pair of sneakers for the clock, I kinda wanna save up for something like the lost and found ones because I just see the price in those going up and up and up. I just don't wanna wait too long for them. So if we sell all this stuff, we might be able to grab them, but we'll just have to wait and see. I think we need like 430-ish dollars to grab them. So stay tuned for next week. Hopefully we sell some sneakers. And uh, I guess at this point, let's go build the clock, finally. What's up guys? Welcome to This Old Seth, where today we're gonna be building a sneaker clock. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, although I have the look of someone who knows what they're doing, I have no idea what I'm doing. And in today's video, or I guess the end of today's video, I'm gonna be building the sneaker clock that I've been promising to build for you guys for weeks and today we're gonna do it now, as you guys can see I'm using a plywood board rather than mounting it on the wall and the reason for that is because I know I'm gonna mess it up and at least this way I can move it around or change it and not destroy my wall I got some of the sneakers here for the clock obviously we're doing just a full you know it's not really 0 to 12 it's 1 to 12 clock a full circular clock and I got these uh, clear acrylic shelves which we're gonna use to hold the sneakers on now I'm realizing as I'm putting these out these may be bigger than I thought so there's a very realistic chance that this may not work today so this is what this is the uh, the six, so we've got the six at the six o'clock spot. And uh, the hardest part, at least for me, I think, is trying to figure out how to make it a perfect circle and how to make everything fit. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is find the uh, center of each one of these edges, mark the middle of the table, and then put a nail on a string and just kind of draw a circle. So that's the plan. Right there, oops, oh. Okay, so we're gonna do a nice little two foot. We can cut all this out. And then I think once I've actually gotten all the shelves kind of in place, probably in between this week and next week, or maybe whenever I get a chance, which could be never, I may paint this like a gray or something so it matches with the uh, my office wherever I end up putting this. Yeah, I'd say that's about right. Uh, yeah. Holding it like a jabroni. Last time I didn't have these on, I hit myself in the eye, so. I'm not gonna have a lot of space. This is a smaller board than I thought. This might not work. In fact, realistically, it's probably, oh shoot, I should use a pencil, shouldn't I? All right, so I couldn't find a pencil, but I did find a pen which should leave a little bit less of a mark than this uh, gold Sharpie. Which, if, by the way, you buy anything off apothecary.com and you want something signed, let me know. I don't do it much, but if you guys, if you guys want it, I'll do it. I don't know why you'd want to do that, because it probably decreases the value of the socks, but... See if it lines up perfectly? It doesn't. Three? Three o'clock? Three o'clock. Three o'clock there. That was nine. Six o'clock. What? No, that's nine. Oh, I'm thinking 12 is at the top over there. Mm, that's, that's not how a clock works. 12, three, six, the, the clock goes the opposite way. You're going counterclockwise. Okay, we're gonna cut that out. Alright. We're not gonna have enough space, are we? This is why I didn't do it on my wall. This is the exact reason. It's not perfect. 
but it fits. That's actually way better than I thought it was gonna be, to be fair. Look at this, that's excellent. Now for everyone asking, because I know people are gonna be asking about this, and I just, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I did not use money from the sneaker collection fund because it's, I didn't want to. That's the real answer, but to be fair, you could still do this without building a clock and just put a clock on your floor, or maybe you could literally use nails Put two nails in the wall, set the shoe on top of there, and there you go, that's the clock. So, very cheap ways to do it. I just wanted it to look nice, but unfortunately, it looks like that's not gonna happen either, so. Yeah, we're gonna need to drill pilot holes. I guess I could use the other shoes so that the small side faces inward. That'll probably work, actually. It's not pretty, but it works. You can stop for now, I'll just keep going. Three hours later. Oh, you're back. This is it. It's done. When I first thought about doing this, I knew it wasn't going to be perfect. I didn't even want it to be perfect. I want this to be perfect. Uh, but here it is. And it's not perfect. So, let's see how this clock looks with the four shoes we have in the collection so far. I actually haven't put it on the ground yet to see what it looks like vertical, so it could look awful. We're about to find out. Oh, it's breaking. Oh, it's heavier than I thought. Oh, there's a bunch of nails coming out of the back. Yeah, I can't really put that up against the wall, huh? Now, this is where you find out that I can't really read a clock very well, because I'm going to put these on and then probably gonna be in the wrong place. So this is a six, right? Not a seven, this is a six. I always get those confused even though I've been doing this for decades. Okay, so there we go, we got the six right there. I'm surprised it fits. I still haven't decided whether I want the shoes facing inward on the sides or facing outwards uh, or just facing all the same direction. But I, yeah, I think they're all facing the same direction right now. What? What? Isn't that a five? Yeah. Dude, the five spot is over there. One. Embarrassed. We've got the um, 9, 10, 11. There we go. That actually looks better than I thought it would. This is I'm actually stoked on this, to be honest. I, I realized that um, I said that I was going to paint this. I take these off and then paint it, but a lot of these screws are stripped. So realistically, that's probably not going to happen. So if I do paint this, it's probably all going to be one color. And then eventually, like I said earlier on in the episode, I'm trying to grab the Chicago 1s to go right there, sorry, right here. We need the 12s right there, um, but we're getting close. I mean, what, we're like 14 episodes in and we have four of the sneakers, so the ratio is not as good as it was a couple weeks ago when we got the uh, the 10s or the 5s or whichever one it was, but we're getting there. And for me, this is like one of the biggest holdups because I just really, really didn't want to build this. But now it's done, and uh, I guess with that, that's the end of the video. See you guys next time.